Last week's derecho potentially damaged more than 13 million acres of crops in Iowa. So now where do farmers go from here and could there be an impact on everybody else going forward? Local 5's Matthew Judy starts us off this evening as Iowans continue to look for answers. We've seen extensive damage where corn is, is just, it's, it's lying down. An all too common theme across the state as Iowa farmers continue to assess damage to their crops. Some of that damage so severe it can be seen from space. This satellite image focused on Carroll County. I've been in this industry for over 30 years and I don't know if I've seen as widespread dis, uh, destruction from north to south and as east as west as I've seen this. Burns says thousands of producers just in central Iowa alone are affected. The next step for many of those, try and recoup what they've lost. I'd say 95% of producers buy crop insurance, so they're gonna need it in this disaster and that's what crop insurance is for. But that insurance far from solves the problem. That if there is a catastrophic event like we just had, that at least we can hold things together and, and not lose money. But it, it definitely is not a uh, revenue maker. And the hardest part, the waiting as crops lay damaged. I would, I would encourage producers, don't tear anything up. Don't chop it, don't, don't do anything until you absolutely get released from your crop insurance adjuster before you do anything. And even when all of that is settled, questions will still remain. So producers have lost storage on their own farms and they have lost in co-ops and, and plants have lost storage. So producers are sorting out what, what, what will they do with their crop this year? Where, where do they put it? Have they lost their grain bins? Still so many questions to be answered about the crops and what that could mean for supply down the line. We're nine days after the claim, the, the, the damage, and we're just not sure what all is going to happen. Will they be able to recover some of it? Um, will they be able to harvest some of it? So that's, that's what's the not known at this point, and I think that will become a little bit more clear as, as, as time uh, progresses. In Boone County, Matthew Judy, Local 5 News, we are I.